Right, so my name is Kevin. I'm uh, the founder of Terra Module. And the reason for this product was uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, infrastructure being built using Terraform, whether it be for, you know, AWS, Azure, any other providers out there. And one of the biggest things is uh, making sure that, that those resources are um, repeatable. Um, other people can use them, you can version them, and things like that. And building a module is one of the ways that, you know, Terraform is kind of built around. Um, so if you want to build really good modules, sometimes it can take a little bit of upfront work. So one of the things that I came up with was an AI powered tool to actually give you a lot of the upfront build um, um, initially so that you don't have to do too much of the legwork. And one area where a lot of people start is when they're building modules and going to um, Azure, you're going to have to look for some of the different resource types that you want to look um, utilize. So with this tool, um, a module that I want to build, um, for example, is for a Palo Alto firewall. And as you can see, there's a lot of different resource types and it all can depend on the different um, options you choose based on what you want to deploy. But maybe you want a purpose built module that can utilize all the different options um, just by turning on some switches and things like that. So with this tool, what you can do is you can use the, uh, the actual, if you click on the resource, um, and actually if I go back to Terra module on the website here, um, this is the site here, just kind of gives some basic, basic information on how it works and uh, some example use cases. And so I'm gonna go through a demo here. If I go to my dashboard. When you first sign up, you'll get three free trial generations, as you can see here on the basic um, plan page, three, three module generations total. Um, then for the basic plan, you'll get 10 a month and then 25 a month for the pro. And you'll get unlimited saves and all the, and the editors and things like that. So going back to the dashboard, um, you know, I'm on the basic plan here. So under the generate module, you enter your resource URLs. Now, like, what, like I was mentioning, you can use the links here um, and paste them in there. And so basically you just paste all the different resources that you wanna build into the uh, this initial block here. What I would recommend is actually using the markdown files. Um, they kind of seem to tend to work a little better. So what you can do is for your particular provider, if you click on this report and issue um, link here, it'll take you to the provider's code. Typically you can find their uh, documentation under like docs, and then you got your D for data and R for uh, resource blocks. And then under the resource blocks, you'll see all the different markdown files. So you can actually search. So if I look for Palo Alto um, under docs, let's see Palo Alto, there we go. So Palo Alto under R local rule stack markdown. So if I click that, it's gonna take me to that um, here. And what I'll do is I'll actually just take that link and paste it directly in here. And so what I wanna do is take all of the local rule stack um, particular links, because I wanna I want just do the local rule stack uh, module. So I'm just gonna take all those and paste those line by line in here. So one, two, three, four. And if it goes to another line, don't worry about that. It, it'll pick up on it pretty good. Just a pretty long link. So I got two more here. And then this last one. And so basically now that I have all the links in there, what I want to do is describe what I want this module to do. So basically I'm just going to say I want a comprehensive module that builds a fully featured Palo Alto local rule stack um, firewall that gives me the options to build, uh, oh, the options to use any of the required or optional uh, arguments. 
So what I mean by that is uh, I want this thing to fully use all the resources. I want all of the uh, required and optional arguments uh, chose. And what I do also have here is a target resources. So this is actually just a way to kind of help target what resources we're using. I'm also going to put also make any of the needed uh, resource um, uh, tie together that's needed. And so with the target resources, I'm just targeting the actual resource type. So, you know, Azure Palo Alto local rule stack, local rule stack, stack certificate. So I can just, I actually have those in the list here. So I'm just gonna take these here and copy them down into there. And, oh, it does have to be, oops. Okay. And then, so yeah, it's gonna have to be comma separated. So let me just do that real quick. Did that beforehand. There's another one. Pretty long resource names. And last one here. All right, and then I can name my module. So the module is going to be Terraform Firewall Palo Alto. And there has been a little bug that I've seen uh, with this being new, uh, where it, it, there's a little race condition where it, it uh, it'll generate, but then it might fail sometimes. So let me save these links. I actually want to save this because I've seen it happen. I haven't been able to catch it again. If you do see that, uh, feel free to drop me a, a message there. So then I'm going to hit generate module. And this is what it's going to do. So typically you can leave the page, wait, it's fairly quick. So what it's going to do is going to extract all the raw uh, information from these pages. And then it's going to plan the module structure. So how this works is it's actually going to give you a main.tf, an outputs.tf, and a variables.tf. Variables and then it's actually going to build a readme file off of all that with some great examples of how to actually use the module and things like that. And then so the more resources you do use, um, it could take a little longer because it, it tries to actually understand what needs to be linked together, um, what things uh, uh, might need outputs, what things may need locals and, and stuff like that. And there might be some areas where it's not actually using like, um, you know, like uh, like it might take, for example, you might need like some subnet IDs or some certain IDs from a public IP address or something, but the variable might just be var dot subnet ID. So you could actually maybe go in and update that to use some type of locals that grabs the IDs and then you place them in there. So I will say like the module generation can get you like 90, 95% of the way, but then you might want to go in and make some things where like your naming conventions are different and things like that. So that's why you, we stuck with just having it to where it's the main.tf, the outputs and the variables and the readme. And then you can download it and change uh, where you want certain resources to live in the folder structure and all that. So this one had uh, quite a bit of resources, so it should be finishing up here now. So it's generating the, doc the documentation. Uh, this is here, usually this, I have this here, retry or force refresh. I haven't had to use that, but Typically, if like um, it's just hanging, you can try to re refresh it or force it, but I tend to just stay on the page until it's done. And then when, when it's done here, it's gonna give you the option to save or download that. All right, so now that we have that done, um, this is just a little debugger up here about you know what all kind of happened. Um, it didn't pull from a cache or anything. So now we have our full module. If we see, we have our local rule stack, um, you know, var dot rule stack name, um, and that's where I was talking about where you might want to put like some string interpretation that says, you know, uh, our naming convention, 
dot, you know, or a dash, you know, var dot rule stack name or something like that. And then, you know, you have some of the different for each's for like, you know, if you're having multiple certificates, um, FQDN list, and then you can see how it knows to, you know, use the uh, rule stack name. And some of these are optional. So these counts are actually, if there is a var dot enable untrust certificate association, run it. If not, do nothing. So it's a way to kind of make this to where if you're not using that particular part of the, the module, you don't have to use it. And so we got the couple files here. We got our variables, um, the variables that gets outputted. And you can see you got your map of objects, um, your prefix list is a map of objects, and then your different just, you know, variables with the defaults and things like that. And then we'll have our outputs. So the outputs here kind of give you some um, different outputs that you can utilize elsewhere. And then the biggest thing here is the readme file. And that's what I really like. So this full module is a Terraform Palo Alto local rule stack firewall module. It gives you a nice, good description, Terraform version. You can go in and obviously update that. They just kind of threw that in there. And then some uses examples. So if you are using this as a module, you got your module call and then just a basic uh, kind of use case for how this would work. Um, yeah, other than and then obviously this is a local rule stack, so you're going to have your rules set in there for different things and your different input variables and then your outputs. And then you can uh, go ahead and save that. You can save it or download it. If you download it, it's actually going to download as a zip file. If we go into that and I extract it, you're going to get your files inside of there, your main, your outputs, your readme and variables. Again, like I said, you can change the file names or however you like. And then we can save this to my modules. Give it a different name. This is the kind of the description um, that it was using. And then we hit save module. Now it does go to this page. Uh, this is just a, a, a terrible redirect. I'll fix that. But if you go back to your dashboard, you should see that now in your generated modules area and then your generation history will just show how long that took and how many resources you used. Uh, this just gives you the option to download and save it again if you actually remove it out of there. And then so the other great thing is there will be an enhanced feature later on. Uh, no, I'll fix that there. Basically, that's not live yet. So that's just going to be to where you can enhance the module uh, later on if you wanted to add any additional input to it. But under the view here, this is where you can kind of come in and edit or make changes to anything. Uh, before you, uh, you know, save it, or if you just want to kind of make changes in here to keep it for later on when there are enhancements that can be done. Uh, you got your different variables. You can make changes to in the readme, or you can just save it and then make the changes in your own editor of choice. Uh, and then you can delete the module if you want. So again, Terra module here, it's a, a great way to kind of get modules up and going quick and fast. Again, something like this would have taken could have hours or maybe even days or weeks to get done, especially with a lot of testing. Now you can take a ready built module, test it with your own um, values and, and kind of get it going from there. Uh, if you have any uh, questions around it, give me a comment, uh, drop a comment down below and I will definitely, um, you know, feel free to reach out.